it's that time of year when we go tailgating. It is my favorite time of the year when it comes to food. And I'm gonna show you something that is guaranteed to rock your world when it comes to tailgating. We are making a sliced jalapeno, uh, it's, a, it's a sandwich, right? I think you're really gonna dig it. It starts with some cheese jalapeno sausage. And I'm just gonna cut these up into one inch, roughly one inch sausages, little baby sausages, whatever you wanna call them. And I'm cutting them at an angle as well because I think that just looks cool. Now, I know I said one inch, but this is probably more like half inch to three quarter. But it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, you know it's gonna rock. All right, I got one whole yellow onion. Just cut it up. Perfect, now I'm just gonna add it to the pile because this whole pile is gonna go on the Cuisinart. Now I have two red bell peppers. We're gonna cut up. Doesn't take much time at all. You know the cool thing about this too, I forgot to mention, this whole meal is under 10 bucks. Right on. And we got some mushrooms. Now I'm just gonna take about six ounces of mushrooms, just kind of cut them up. I'm not gonna worry too much about them that they're super small or anything. We just got a whole mess of stuff going on here. That's what makes it perfect. Just flavor, baby. All right, Cuisinart is on high. So I'm gonna put a little bit of EVOO on it. Spread that oil around. Now the fun part. All of this onto the grill. That is a beautiful sound. We're going to cook all these up together. I'm going to turn the heat down about halfway. Put a little more oil over the top. And while these things cook down, the onions are going to break apart and everything is just going to get soft. And then at that point, we're going to put some garlic on. Now, we're not putting the garlic on yet because I don't want it to burn. You can see that everything in here is starting to break down. Just, it looks great. It's got great color. Amazing smell. I'm going to take some seasoning that I made. And all it is is a half a teaspoon of Italian dressing and some salt. Sprinkled over the top. Get it mixed up in there. It's also about time to start adding some of our garlic. And depending upon how much garlic you want, how much you put down. I love garlic. Mix it all up in there. Awesome. We're going to let this cook down a little bit more, but it's time to start on our bun. Our bun is really simple. It's just a hoagie bun. Put some butter in there. You know, put this on the Cuisinart. Let this kind of brown up a little bit. Before we get our hoagie on there, I just want to mix this up again. Oh, that really released the garlic. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Get our hoagies down. 
At this point, I'm just going to put some provolone cheese over the top of our sausage, onions. It's almost going to be like a chili cheese steak, but better. All right, been about a minute and a half. Looks good. Going to remove our hoagie bun. Cheese is coming along great. It's melting. So I think we're just about done. Take a section of that. Perfect. Now that we got everything together, I just think it's time to add some mustard. And because I like pickles, I'm adding Famous Dave's Diablo pickles to this. Voila, look at that. That's awesome. Whew. Heck yeah. It's time to try it out. Oh, dropped a pickle. But you saw how we made it. Now it's time to check it out. Mm-hmm. Very reminiscent of a Philly cheesesteak. Wow, it's just got flavors all over. You get the jalapeno cheese sausage. Of course, you get the peppers and the onions, a little bit of that garlic, that cheese. Wow. Mm. And then you add those pickles to it. You know what go good with? Ice cold Patty Joe beer. Yeah. Like I said, you saw how we made it, so tell me what you think. I'll see you on the next episode. We're going to be doing an American classic. All right, take care, guys.